So Rebecca. And then, is that it? You know. I'll throw Blake Lively up there. I don't know if she's still dating whoever. Uh, you know. Some, some stuff, like, seeps into my, like, realm of exposure. And I'm like, okay, she's dating that guy. Whatever, you know. But, like, uh, maybe Blake Lively. And then also on the list is, like, uh, you know, Emma Stone. I don't know her last name. But, like, you know. All right, I know what you're saying. You know, they're all very beautiful women. All right? Like, oh, what's that? I'm sorry. You guys have to figure that out for yourselves. It's part of the puzzle. All right? It's, uh, it's kind of weird. It's like, why? You know? Now, don't get angry, because this isn't like, uh, this isn't like, uh, like I'm picking, like, uh, the, the members of some sort of, like, uh, a multicultural cast of like space explorers, you know, like uh, like uh, like Sunrise, you know. Oh yeah, we got uh, we got uh, we got Michelle Yeoh, and we got some other Chinese guy. Then uh, no black dudes, right? But we got an Indian guy, and then there's like a white dude and a white chick, you know. I got some multicultural there. All right, you got Indian. Oh yeah, and then Japanese dude. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Greg, like. Uh, Looks like all these chicks are white. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what it, that's that's how it is actually. These are all white chicks. Uh what's the deal? Why not uh why Yeah, yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Um You know, I'm writing books and and don't think that like don't think that I'm not like, you know, attracted to like you know, Halle Berry or, uh, you know, other chicks who are out there that I'm attracted to. I know she, I think she has a kid and she's married or something, so, but like, uh, you know, who else? Um, um, oh man, that girl, uh, Stacey Dash, you yeah. know, hi, anyway, you know, plenty, they're, you know, oh, what about Asian, oh, okay. Some of you might might not even know who these people are, but, uh, you know, Chieko, and, like, uh, you know, who else out there, Japanese, you know, Japanese, uh, Asian women, who else, uh, there's fucking, uh, uh, what's-her-face, uh, anyway, uh, oh, yeah, uh, Z.E., you know, and what about Indian women, uh, you know what, I was watching, uh, Matrix, uh, Revolutions, and, uh, the, uh, Ramakandra's wife is actually pretty attractive. I would definitely put the dong in that Ramalama Ding Dong, you know? <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I, I, was, I was singing the song earlier, and, uh, you know, I, I was wondering, you know, who put the dong, you know? Is, is that what the lyrics are, you know? Who put the dong in the Ramalama Ding Dong, you know? Anyway. But, um... Initially, initially, all white girls, for kind of the precise reason that I just explained to you all, or that I just conveyed to you all, all right? These white girls have to deal with, you know, black, Asian, Indian, Native American out there going, you know, we are the different things, like we... We are the, we are the, the, we are the, uh, separate, we are, we are the original things of, it's like, uh, cu the, the cultural identity. See, here's the thing. All these girls have a cultural identity of, like, you know, kind of like a blank slate American melting pot person, all right? So these are like, Melting pot girls. Alright? Now, like, here's the thing. Why no black girls, Greg? Because black girls are, for the most part, part of the black cultural identity. Like, there's, there's a strange thing that a lot of black people, I'm not going to say all, but like, you know, but like there, there are other reasons why there aren't any black girls on this list, but the next list will have 
you know, different people on it, black people, Asian people, etc. But the first list are the white people who I have to prep for all of these things coming in going, yeah, you white girl, we're black and you've got the privileges. And it's like they're in the spirit world, you know, trying to claim that like the cumulative like cultural identity story of black people is all of their histories. So like some black person who was born in like 19, like 73 is going to go, my people have suffered. We, we were brought over on the slave ships. And it's like, you were brought over on the slave ships? Like, I, I might as well say that I was brought over on the slave ships. You know? What do you mean you were brought on the slave ships? Anyway. But like, black people, like nowadays, they have a choice. Either choose to pretend that you're like a, a, a reincarnated, like, Amistad, like, uh, I didn't even watch Amistad, but like, like some reincarnated, like, uh, person who came over on the first slave ships. Yeah, I've been here for like 300 years, you know? Yeah, I had to, I had to like, you know, it's like, oh man, okay. Like, you, you watched Star Wars just like I did, and you wore the exact same clothes I did. We had the same jeans and the same, like, Montgomery Wards, like, Star Wars shirts or, like, whatever, like, uh, Redskins, like, uh, shirts. Like, we both shopped at, like, uh, whatever, Oshkosh. And then, like, at some point, you decided to pretend like you are, like, the reincarnated soul of, like, uh, Malcolm X. And then I decided to, uh, you know, continue my path as Melting Pot Kid, you know? And then, like, so, so like, a lot of black people that I talk to are like, you know, they, they are, they are, they are ensconced in the black culture, like, uh, trap, you know, like, yeah, 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 like, uh, you know, I'm talking to some guy, and, and, you know, we're talking about stuff, and, you know, I'm talking about, like, metaphysic, uh, metaphysic, uh, I'm talking about, like, uh, you know, spirit world stuff, and, like, dream world stuff, and he's like, yeah, you know, like, Biggie and Tupac, you know, and it's like, oh man, like, be because, because Biggie and Tupac were black, if you're black, then, like, Biggie and Tupac, are gonna, anyway, the Biggie and Tupac are gonna be, like, floating over your head, oh man, you know what I'm saying, so, like, here's the thing, oh great, well, what if, like, there are some black people that want to, like, you know, all right, look, why don't I just skip to, like, you know, stage, like, five, all right, I'm doing this the way I planned it which is stage one, white girls. And like, if you're black and you're like, hey, how about stage two? You know, it's like, I haven't even gotten to stage one yet. All right? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really like, yeah, look, look, black girl, you know? No, hold on. <clears throat> anyway, so like, oh man, anyway, so like, uh, so, black girls, if you're like, hey, I'm black, and like, what about stage two, you know, can, can we just skip stage one? No, we can't. Like, why don't you use your terminal to like, do some work in sit, just as I am, to get these white chicks to start going on the internet and, you know, looking for me, you know? They're not going on any quests. Oh, let's see what's uh, Alison Goldfrapp. She's recording a new album or something. She's like jaunting about the the, the globe doing whatever. You know, I think she's uh, like a like I'm following her on Twitter, and it's like you know she's like ah uh, I just had like a I just had a uh, I just had a a, a marvelous uh, ice cream sundae with a cherry on top. The, you know XOXO. Like those are her tweets. You know, it's like people are Twitter. Twittering. Anyway, but like, you know, movie or album, album, movie, 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 uh, doing covers in a, uh, you know, in a club perpetually, it seems. And according to sources, a uh, new album not being released, then like movie, movie, movie. So all of these chicks and all these chicks are either like recording albums or playing shows or, uh, um, or uh, acting in films, 
and uh, they're 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 too busy being successful to feel that they need to go on a quest because either they they've accepted that uh, that they that they just want to grow old and die you know or uh, or they are just you know waiting for a little bit more uh, to like go on um, or they're just clueless so um, so like uh, you know melting pot girls like uh, You know, there's there's no like I just choose these girls because you know, um, black black actresses for the most part have that like that that predilection for blackness. Like it, it's like I I feel that like if um if like uh. We'll say like uh, these people are. We'll say like we'll say Halle Berry. Anyway, we'll say Halle Berry comes out, right? Anyway. So like Halle Berry comes out and she's like, um, "Hey, interesting place you have here." Like, yeah, l let's get started. We're gonna be we're gonna be watching some movies. I'm gonna be explaining to you like, you know, what these filmmakers are trying to convey, what they think, and what they're doing with their minds. You know what they, what they think, how they think the universe works. Okay, excellent. Well, you know what? I gotta get back to black people, because like, uh, you know, right around like ten thirty, they start getting like, you know, antsy. Like, hmm, Halle Berry's been spending a little bit too much time with that Amerasian guy. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to send out the. We're gonna. You know. We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna set off the flare. You know. <laughs> like, ooh. Okay. No. <clears throat> anyway. Like. Okay, Greg. Well, time's up. That's that's the signal flare. You know, the black signal flare. I gotta get back to the to the black neighborhood that I come from. You know, I gotta get back to uh, blackness, because uh, you know, if I spend too much time here, I might be listening to like math rock. You know, or like, uh, or maybe like um, you know, electronica music. You know, I I can't really like hang out for too long. You know, I gotta get back. Um, uh, hold on, uh, yeah, Rihanna, you know, yeah, I gotta I got get back and listen to some Rihanna and some Nicki Minaj, you know, I can't, I, you, you don't even have any Rihanna in this house, you know, there's no Rihanna in here, you know, uh, you know why, uh, Hallie, uh, because I could just, like, stick my head out, out the window and hear Rihanna, you know, so, uh, yeah, I actually have, uh, I have MTV, you know, if I want to see Rihanna, I can just turn it on. There's like eight MTV channels. She's gonna be on one of them, you know. Same with Nicki Minaj, you know. I uh, I have um, I have a Public Enemy album, and uh, I have some Roots albums, you know. You can listen to those. You know? I I have a Massive Attack album. Huh? There's a black guy in that group. Yeah, but there are also white guys in that group. So, uh, oh, uh, okay, okay, Hallie. You need like a 100% black band. Well. I have a, I have a Miles Davis uh, box set over here, so uh, so yeah, like uh, uh, anyway, but uh, there's a certain like uh, lineup that he had, all black dudes. So, you know, at, at one point he had like a couple of white guys in the band. I don't know what uh, John McLaughlin is really. I, th I think he's white, but like you know, uh, what's his face? He, he had a, he had a anyway. Sit sit stuff guys um but anyway like he, he had a few white guys in the band uh, uh what's the guy's name dave holland dave Holland. anyway no but like uh dave holland john mclaughlin and then like he also had like um what's his face uh keith jarrett and uh you know he had those guys in the band and then he was like you know what oh, hold on better miles david and you know what <clears throat> i think i think we just need all black guys uh, i just I think that's what he sounds like. Hold on. I think we just need all black guys in the band. You know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get rid of all the white people. You know? Yeah. No more white people. Just all black people. Yeah, that that's a good decision, Miles. Yeah, let's see how that works. You know. And it was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like, 